The French President Emmanuel Macron has pledged to significantly cut taxes for middle-class workers by closing loopholes and lowering expenditure. It's one of the economic and political reforms he's announced in an attempt to reboot his presidency, which has taken a hit from five months of yellow vest protests. Macron, who was swept into power two years ago, promising to transform France's economy, has also promised to push ahead with his government's other plans, which include relaxing the country's strict labour laws and generous social welfare system. The president's latest announcement follows three months of nationwide town hall style meetings to address the concerns expressed by the Yellow Vest movement, whose protests have often turned violent. Speaking in Paris, he's also urged French citizens to restore order. Aujourd'hui, today, first of all, public order must be restored and with it harmony. But I do not want the degeneracy of some to obscure the justified demands that were originally brought up by this movement. Well, let's get more on this from our editor-at-large, Craig Capetus, in Paris. Hi, Craig. It, it was quite an uncharacteristic address for Emmanuel Macron. It, he was quite rambly. It wasn't really to the point. But what did you make of what he's had to say so far? Well, Oscar, if you enjoy opera buff, Macron's one-hour soliloquy was a tour de force. Uh, we learned from him uh, that uh, he has learned a great deal about France, and he's learned a great deal about his office, he said. He also learned that the French were children of the Enlightenment and that patriotism must be inclusive, whatever that means. Um, he said uh, that he just discovered the problems of single-parent families, the problems of bullies in school, and that there was no public policy for those who don't live in the cities. It goes on and on and on. The question is, he needed 24 weeks of yellow vest protests to, to realize issues and problems that have existed in France for the past 30 years. It was a remarkable performance. Mm. Now, there was a lot of anticipation uh, ahead of this address. It was obviously delayed because of the Notre Dame Cathedral fire, but it was also light on detail. But among uh, the significant things that he announced was plans to uh, cut taxes and overhaul the pension system. Now, is that likely to go down well with uh, the French citizens? You're being generous, Oscar, in saying uh, what he had to say was light on detail. There was no detail at all. As far as the pensions, he said he was going to link uh, uh, pensions going forward to the inflation rate. He said he was going to lower taxes for everyone who works. But what he didn't do was address the bandwidth of taxes, the bandwidth in France uh, where someone is considered to be a member of the 1%. That's the figure that everyone wants to see. That figure used to be about $1.1 million. Now, he took that out. Now, for a middle-class family today, $1.1 million in savings and real estate is not a lot of money. He didn't address the problems that the super-rich have been causing here with their ability to hoard lots of money. I'm talking in the five to ten billion dollar range, the multi super millionaires, the ones who just don't have the money to f fly first class, but can afford to go out and buy a Gulf Stream. <laughs> Interesting. Now, uh, throughout his speech, he also maintained quite a defiant tone, didn't he? He basically said that his economic agenda uh, is the right thing for France, despite what the Yellow Vest movement has been calling for. Do you think the protesters will be in any way satisfied by what he's had to say? I don't think they will, but you know who will be very satisfied is uh, Marine Le Pen's right wing, uh, formerly known National Front Party. Uh, they're going to be uh, screaming and screaming loud tomorrow because Macron acted more like a, a philosophy professor in a high school than the president of the French Republic. You know, offering up plans like citizens' councils to advise parliament, more referendums, uh, uh, ensuring that civil ser civil servants don't have jobs for life is really um, elementary school rhetoric from the president of a country. 
zero on specifics, mm. a lot of posturing, a lot of promises. But again, we still don't know what he intends to do. That's right. Well, we'll see if any of that detail emerges in the coming days. Craig Capitas in Paris, thank you for that.